regions in complex plane. So in this discussion, we are going to study geometrical and topological properties of different regions in complex plane. So in other words, if we have a region in a complex plane and if we have a point, then the question is how close the point P is with that region or if the point P lies inside the region, outside the region or at the boundary of that region. Now, uh, intuitively, it's a very simple idea, but we want to write it down in a mathematically precise language. So the main concept that we are going to use in our discussion is a very simple concept of a circle. Now, what is a circle? A circle is a set of points in plane whose distance from a fixed point Z0 is constant C. So, in other words, if this is the point Z0 and this is the distance C, then circle is basically set of all these points. Now, these are all the points whose distance from Z0 is equal to C. So, in plane, there is no other point whose distance from Z0 is equal to C apart from the points on this circle. Now, if we want to uh, calculate or if we want to uh, describe different geometrical properties of the region, then we are going to need notion of distance. In other words, given two complex numbers in the complex plane, what is the distance between them? So, in other words, uh, we should be able to use our previous knowledge uh, to see that if we are given a complex number Z1 and the second complex number Z2, then the distance between them is basically uh, the modulus of this complex number Z1 minus Z2. Now, let's use this distance to describe a circle in complex plane. So, uh, of course, we know that a circle is a set of all points whose distance from a fixed point Z0 is constant. So, in this case, the constant is epsilon. So, mathematically speaking, it becomes the following expression. So, it is basically, uh, this equation is saying that find all complex numbers Z such that when we calculate the distance of Z from Z0, then this distance is equal to epsilon. And all such Z will form a circle in complex plane. And the center of this circle is Z0 and the radius is epsilon. Now, continuing in this direction, uh, we can define a closed disk. Now, remember, uh, once again, what is a circle? So, circle with center Z0 and radius epsilon is set of all points whose distance from Z0 is equal to epsilon. Now, if I change this equality with this inequality, so in other words, now the question is, find all complex number Z whose distance from epsilon is e uh, whose distance from z0 is either equal to epsilon or less than so in other words a set of all the points on the circle and set of points who which are inside the circle okay so if i if i go outside the circle let's say this point now the distance of z0 from this point let's call it h is definitely greater than epsilon but if i consider any point inside this circle, then this distance is definitely less than epsilon. So, in other words, a closed disk is set of all points which are on the circle and inside the circle. Okay. Similarly, on the same lines, we can define an open disk. So, an open disk is set of all points whose distance from Z0 is strictly less than epsilon. Now, observe that. Uh, there is no equality in this case. So, in other words, the points on the circle of radius epsilon and center Z0 will not be included in this case, but every other point inside this circle will be included. So, this is our open disk. As we can observe that, the boundary is not included. So, that's why we are calling it open disk. Now, continuing in this direction, now let's define neighborhood of a point Z0. Okay, now, uh, as, as 
we can see from the name that uh, it is something about the closeness or the neighborhoodness of a point okay so, and uh, we will see that we are going to use uh, this idea uh, to explore how close a point is with a given region or a set in the plane okay so what is epsilon neighborhood of a point z naught so an epsilon neighborhood of a point z naught is just an open disk of radius epsilon of course in this case it includes all complex numbers whose distance from z naught is strictly less than epsilon and of course the boundary is not included so uh, normally we'll just talk about neighborhood of a complex number when uh, the value of epsilon is irrelevant our next definition is about deleted neighborhood or punctured open disk okay so uh, as we can observe uh, from the name that it is a disk but it is punctured okay so in other words if i have uh, an open disk and if i puncture it in other words if i exclude uh, this point is z not uh, from this disk then it becomes punctured okay so mathematically speaking it is set of all points z whose distance from z not is strictly less than epsilon and the distance is not going to be equal to zero and it is strictly greater than zero of course in this open disk there is only one point whose distance from uh, z not is equal to zero and that point is z not and if we exclude that point then we get this punctured disk our next uh, definition where we are going to use our previous uh, discussion of neighborhoods and uh, circles and open disks to define when a point is interior to a set s okay so uh, geometrically if i if i just uh, sketch this set s in the following form and if i take the following point then we can easily see that it is not interior to s and if i if i take another point like this then intuitively we can easily observe that it is inside this set s now we want to define this phenomena mathematically in a precise language now what is the difference between these two points so the difference between these two points is let's call this point p1 and let's call this point p2 if i take this point p1 then i can easily find an open disk centered at p1 which is contained in this set s and for this point p2 there exists this following disk with center p2 and here this epsilon which is the radius of this disk is some distance okay so but the point is there exists one such open disk such that this open disk is not uh, contained in s or even does not intersect s so this point p with this property is called the interior point so in other words if we are given a point z naught then this is interior point of the set s whenever there is a neighborhood of z naught contained in s now uh, we can we can also take the point to be as close to the boundary of s as possible but still we will be able to find a very small disk such that that uh, open disk with center that point is contained in the set s and we can say that this point is interior point of s but if i take this point still the disk is very small but still we are able to find a disk which is not contained in s so this point is not interior point so we have mathematically defined uh, when a point is interior to a given region or a set and when it is not interior so if a point is not interior then there is another uh, kind of points which we call them exterior points so in other words uh, if we are given the set s then a point is called exterior point if there exists a neighborhood of z not not contained in s so in other words if this is the point p then it has the following neighborhood and this neighborhood is not contained in s so we call this point to be exterior point now 
between these two uh, points, the interior points and the exterior points, there is another kind of points uh, which does not fall in any of these two criteria. So these kind of points are the boundary points. Okay, so on the boundary, so what are what are the properties of the points which are at the boundary of any set S? So if I take any neighborhood of this point, then it will neither be outside S nor will be contained inside S. Okay, so we can say that these are very special points or these are different than interior and exterior points. And we call them a boundary point. So precisely a point Z0 is a boundary point of a set S if it is neither an interior nor an exterior point. So in other words, if I take a neighborhood of uh, a point which is at the boundary, then every neighborhood of this point will contain some points of S and some points which are outside S. So it will never happen that uh, if, if, if a point is a boundary point, so it will, there will no neighborhood of that point which is uh, entirely contained in S or entirely contained outside S. Okay, so every neighborhood will contain some points of S and some points outside S. And sort of all uh, boundary points of a set S is called the boundary of S. Okay, so for example, uh, consider a set S which is defined as this closed disk. Now, uh, why uh, this is closed disk? Because I can write it down in the following form z minus 0 modulus less than or equal to 1. So basically, it becomes a closed disk with center origin and radius 1. So now, in this case, we get the following disk. Now, what are the boundary points in this case? Of course, this point is not boundary point because we can find an open disk or we can find a neighborhood of this point which is outside S. So it becomes an exterior point. And similarly, if we take the following point, then it becomes interior point because there exists a neighborhood which is contained inside this set S. So what are the boundary points? So the boundary points are this point. So every open uh, disk can with centered this point or every neighborhood of this point contains some points of S and some points from outside S. So basically, set of these points which are exactly the circle of radius 1 is basically the boundary of this set S. Okay, so what is boundary of S? So boundary of S is basically circle of radius 1. Similarly, if I consider another set S2 defined by this inequality. So what is this uh, what is this set S2? So now this is an open disk. In other words, set of all points whose distance from the origin is strictly less than 1. So in this case, it becomes something like this. Now in this case, the boundary is not included. But what is the boundary of this set S2? So once again, this point is not at the boundary. Similarly, this point is not at the boundary. But the boundary is once again the circle of radius 1. Okay, so in this case, the boundary is the same circle of radius 1. Now in this discussion, we started with defining circles in complex plane and then we defined what are open disks, what are closed disks and we defined very important notion of neighborhood of a point and using that we define what is an interior point, what is an exterior point, what is boundary point and what is boundary of a set. So we will continue our discussion where we explore further geometrical and topological properties of regions in complex plane.